Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Here's some a really interesting stat I came across. Um, five years before Abu Abbas became president, in the five years before Abu Abbas became president of the Palestinians, 5,000 Palestinians and 1,000 Israelis were killed in different kinds of attacks. In the past three years, 311 Palestinians have been killed and 20 Israelis. Now think about that. Abbas has even been able to convince Hamas to keep their powder dry, to hold off to attack on attacks against Israel. He's made Israeli security an important part of his administration of the Palestinian territories. His, his security forces regularly consult with Israeli security forces and, uh, and they go after folks who would cause trouble. Now what have they gotten in return for that? Well, practically nothing. It is very unfortunate that Benjamin Netanyahu and the right wing now control Israel because they have a partner that they could work with towards peace. They have somebody who's shown that he's interested in peace, that he wants to work with Israel. Instead of, of using this time of relative peace to work with the Palestinians, all that's been happening is Israel has been expanding the settlements that they're building. Now one thing Abbas is doing, he's trying to get Palestine recognized as a state by the UN, and this infuriates the Israelis. They hate it, and here's the reason why. Now, they won't be able to get full statehood. That requires passage by the Security Council, and we will veto it, even though we say we're in favor of a two-state solution. But there is a type of statehood recognition that doesn't require the Security Council. It's called an observer state or something like that. And all it requires is for more than 50% of the UN members to pass it. After the election, uh, Abbas didn't want to cause any trouble for Obama, so he's waiting until after the election. But after that election, the Palestinians are going to go for that. And that's going to create a problem for the Israelis because even though they don't have full statehood in the UN, as a recognized state, as a recognized state, the building of settlements on their territory becomes a war crime. That's going to create some problems for Israel. The Arab Spring is going to create some problems for Israel. Because the governments that are going in power, even though they're going to be more democratic, they're going to be more responsive to the people, which means that their policies are not going to be as tolerant or favorable to Israel as they've been in the past. Israel needs to make peace with the Palestinians. They need to come to a final solution. This would make our job in the Middle East a lot less complicated. It would make dealing with the Iranians a lot less complicated. But because what we really need in Israel is regime change, as long as Netanyahu's there, nothing's going to happen. He's shown that he is not a man of peace. He's shown that he's a man of bad faith by supporting the settlement movement. After this election, we need to put the kind of pressure on Israel that might result in driving Netanyahu out of office.
it's in our best interest that this thing be settled. It's not in our best interest to let the Israelis continue to build settlements in the Palestinian territories. That will result in a war in the Middle East in which everybody will be united against Israel. It can be avoided, but not by Netanyahu. Thanks for listening.